I got a package! I got a package. Came in the mail. Uh, ugh. I'm gonna open it. I have actually already opened it. I cheated a little. And looked through everything. So... I just put everything back in the box for your entertainment purposes. Lipo. Lipo. Oh wait, this is from HobbyParts.com. Bunch of crap. Receiver. Lipo. Safety bag. So I don't burn my face off. And a toolkit. Made me angry. Um... I'll go from smallest to biggest, I guess. Yeah. Got a receiver for my Fly Sky FSGT3B. It's pretty cheap radio. It's really nice, though. I got it over here. And it's got a screen. That's basically the only reason I bought it. Because I could, like, you can adjust, like, everything you can on that one compared to a like $400 radio system that does just as much it just looks a little nicer but this one was like 45 50 something like that that's the thing about hobby parts all our stuff is cheap like super super cheap and it's mostly a knockoff off another country or another company my bad but like I'll admit their stuff isn't the greatest it's actually pretty darn cheap I can't I gotta use my toe. Oh well, it, it's that. Uh, I don't need to go over that. But yeah, there's like I was saying, their stuff is cheap and it's kind of bad quality. But it's so cheap that it and it's just cheap. That's why I buy it. And like a lipo like this would normally cost like 20 bucks. This was this was like 10 bucks. So it. Even if it does fail on me, I mean, I, I'm out 10 bucks unless it blows up my car. And then I'll be pretty pissed, but that's why I buy this stuff. I got a Gen's Ace 1800 milliamp 2S LiPo um, 25C for my Erivo. My Erivo. Right there. And it's a little bit loose there but that I guess that's good it'll be slamming around in there but I guess I can get one of these like foam padding things from in the package stick it in there make up a little space got another the same thing I don't need to get that out I guess I will just for the heck of it <laughs> got another one these connectors suck they really do I hate them I'm chopping these off and putting on some Traxxas connectors here in like two seconds when I'm done. Messing with you guys. I got a LiPo safe bag so I don't blow my face off again. Actually, I never did, but so I don't catch one on fire. Ah! I hate having one hand to do stuff with. Screw it. it LiPo bag. And. Got an awesome tool bag. I think it goes that way. Yeah, let me try my way. It's a EXI. I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, EXI. Um, Allen wrench set. The aluminum Allen wrench set with some other stuff. This was 17 bucks, but like a normal good quality one would be like four or five times as much. But if something does go wrong I can just buy a new one and they're pretty nice they're full aluminum body actually they're hollow and pretty nice solid tip on the end can't really see that it's a 2.0 millimeter wrench Allen wrench for all my stuff that's about it all the stuff is for my mini Revo except for that receiver because for some reason Fly Sky does not work with Castle. And I have this giant four pole um, Castle SV2 system in it. And it doesn't work. Last time I tried it, it just went full speed and never stopped and hit a tree. And that's why I have RPMA arms in the front now. They got completely ripped off. I had to replace the chassis and bumpers still screwed up. and It broke the whole car. So that's.
I'm not doing that again. And I got all the parts I need to run that thing, as y'all saw my um, my teaser video. But the um, only thing I'm waiting on right now is my Traxxas Link receiver. And I sent that over a week ago, and I I don't I live not even two hours from Dallas, or, because and that's where they are. So I don't understand why it's taking a full week. All the other times it just took like three or four days and done. But it's been a week. It's not coming back. So y'all subscribe and I will have videos and reviews. Like after I use these, see if like they don't strip out, if they're pretty good metal. It feels like it. And but I bought other stuff from them that feels good quality and it's absolute crap. So y'all subscribe, I already said that. Uh, comment, rate, whatever, and adios. I just realized something. I was looking through all these different uh, wrenches to see what there was, and I found this one. And it's very strange. What is that? It's a hook? Why is... Why is there a hook tool? What is... Do I hook things with it? Like, what's the purpose of this in the form of a wrench? Is it a car picker upper? I think so. Oh. Guess not.